Do you have trouble seeing and reading your iPhone? Well, let's talk about iPhone's zoom feature. Hi everyone, it's Carrie with Accessible Life at AccessibleLife.net and today we're going to explore iPhone's Zoom feature and all the options that go along with it. And today I'm going to be borrowing my husband Pablo's iPhone and I'm going to be changing all the settings. Make sure to put it back the way it was. Okay. Let's turn off voiceover and increase the font. <laughs> so here we are on the iPhone's home screen and to turn on zoom first we have to go to settings. Now scroll down until we get to general. Tap on accessibility and tap on the second option down which is zoom. And right here on the right will be a toggle to turn zoom on. So let's tap on it and I'll turn it on. To zoom out, we double tap with three fingers. And to zoom back in, we double tap with three fingers. To change the magnification level, you double tap and hold three fingers. And you slowly slide your fingers up or you can slowly slide it down to decrease the magnification. To move around the screen, you use three fingers and slide it across the screen. The only thing you do need to be careful with is the faster you move your fingers, the faster the screen will move. So for example, if I move my three fingers slowly across the screen, it will move slowly, but if I move it faster, it can almost jump to the side. If you look back on the menu, the next option is follow focus. I usually like to keep that off because what it tries to do is move the screen where it thinks your focus should be. But if you do turn it on, there's a second option that pops up that's called smart typing. And what that does is zoom into where you are typing but not the keyboard. So you can see that right here, it zooms into where I'm typing, but it doesn't actually zoom in the keyboard. The next option down is show controller. This is one of my favorites. So if we turn that on, it puts an icon on the screen. And if we double tap that icon with one finger, it zooms in. And if we double tap again, it zooms out. So let me zoom in again. And right here, we can use this almost like a joystick and so if we put our finger on it and slide a little bit to the left it moves the screen to the left or to the right we can go up and down I really like this feature because I find that using three fingers to pan the screen blocks a lot of what is on the screen you can move this icon by tapping and holding on the icon and dragging it to where you want it on the screen. If you tap and hold on the controller and using 3D touch, that means pressing it hard, you can slide your finger around and zoom in and pan around with just one finger and once you let go, it zooms right back out. Back on the menu, the next option down is idle visibility. So if we tap on that, we have a slider here that changes the transparency of the icon, the controller. And if you move it to the left, it'll make it lighter. And if you move it to the right, it'll make it darker. This might be useful if you don't want it to interfere too much with what you're looking at on the screen. Just don't make the mistake that I did and make it too light. And then later I had a lot of trouble finding where it was. So let's go back. And the next option down is zoom region. Right now I have it set to full screen zoom and that zooms into the whole screen like this. Other option is window zoom. So if we select that, what it does is it makes it look like a magnifying lens. And you can move around using the controller and that will also move the lens around. 
or you can tap and hold on the middle bottom of the window where there's a little bar and slide the window where you want things magnified. To change the size of the window, you have to go to the zooms quick settings as I like to call it and you can do that by either single tapping the controller if you have that on or triple tapping with three fingers. And here we have an option called resize lens and this option only appears when you have your zoom region set to window zoom. So this puts the four little dots on the window that you can drag to make it bigger or smaller. Once you're done, you just tap outside of the lens and you have a little white bar again and you can move it that way. I'm going to set it to full screen zoom because that's a lot better for me. And if we go back to the menu, the next option is zoom filters. So right here, this is basically your color enhancements and they have none, which is just normal, inverted, grayscale, grayscale inverted, or low light. The last option is the maximum zoom level. This slider goes from 1.2x all the way to 15x and what this does is it puts a limit on how much you can zoom in when you double tap and drag up with two fingers so I have it right now set to 7.8 so if I double tap to zoom in if I double tap and hold and drag up I can only zoom in this much and if I change that to as high as it will go, and I zoom in, and I change, increase the magnification, I can actually zoom in even more. And if I put that lower, and I zoom in, I can't zoom in more than this. So you can change this to suit your needs. So if you don't need a lot of magnification, you can just keep that on the lower side. But if you're like me, you can slide that all the way up so that you can zoom as much as possible. So here we're on the home screen and instead of digging through the settings each time you want to change something, you can bring up the zooms quick settings. And remember you can either triple tap with three fingers or you can single tap on the controller with one finger. And here we have a couple of options. So we can zoom in and out. And the next option is choose region. So you, right here you can choose between full screen zoom or window zoom. The next option is zoom filter. And so it has all the filters, the inverted, grayscale, grayscale inverted, and low light. And the next one down is hide controller. And then and if it's hidden, you can also tap it and it will show you the controller. The last one down is a slider and you can actually control the zoom here. Instead of double tapping and holding with three fingers and sliding up and down, you can use this slider. And that's how you use iPhone zoom feature and all the options that come along with it. So leave me a comment below. Do you use this feature or do you use magnification gestures on Android? Which do you think is better? And if you think this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos to help you live a more accessible life.